Soil is one of those environmental subjects that uh, is huge, uh, but the extent to which it's talked about in the environmental debate is quite small. Things are beginning to change as we go along, but the fact is that soil is at the junction point of a wide range of environmental questions, food security, climate change, loss of biodiversity, the purity and security of water. All of these things are in the end linked to soil health. The trouble is, is that soil health across our planet is beginning to decline at an ever increasing pace. And the principal reason for this is agriculture of different kinds. Uh, e the uh, rise of industrial farming uh, has led to soil damage on an epic scale. Um, more than a third is now deemed to be damaged in some way. This is a result of erosion. If you look at satellite pictures, of different parts of our planet, you'll see that in many coastal areas, the sea is brown. It should be blue or green, but it's brown because it's full of soil. That is coming from the land as a result of deep plowing, uh, insufficient attention to cover crops in times of heavy rain. And so the soil, our principal food growing medium, is leaving the land and going into the ocean. At the same time, some soils are becoming heavily compacted with machinery. And another trend which is affecting soils across the planet is the loss of organic matter. This is the once living materials that basically is the fuel of the soil, enabling it to share fertility with, with growing plants. So the more we damage the soil, the more we imperil humankind, and not only through our food system, but also through the loss of carbon, because that organic matter that sits in the soil is also the biggest carbon store, uh, far bigger than we find in the world's forests, which are endlessly talked about from a carbon point of view. So if you want to help soils to uh, remain in good shape and to recover, again, we can all do something in our day-to-day -day lives. Of course, we all eat. And so the first thing we can do is make sure that our food is coming from regenerative systems. Uh, this is sometimes hard to do, but you can find your local farmers markets and speak to the people growing the food and ask them about what they're doing uh, to ensure that their soils remain in good health. Uh, the organic labels that are on some products generally as a good guide uh, in the sense of the focus on soils. You can also speak to your mainstream big supermarkets and ask them what they're doing about soil health. Do they have any standards whatsoever uh, in terms of knowing where their potatoes, onions, carrots, and everything else is coming from? You can also uh, undertake uh, some direct action in terms of growing your own food. Quite a lot of people find great pleasure in being able to grow at least a few of their own vegetables. This is a real education. I do this myself and it ain't easy, uh, but it is highly rewarding and does actually connect you with the cycles of life that take place below ground in those uh, dark recesses of the soil that we very rarely see, but which if you grow vegetables, you need to know about in terms of the activities of earthworms and bees and uh, various microbes that are recycling nutrients in the ground. Uh, and also the extent to which you have to replenish that critical organic matter and how to do that with compost and so on. And then, of course, the water retaining properties of the soil. These are all the things you have to master if you're going to grow food. And then, of course, like everything else, there is a massive policy dimension and the extent to which governments play a role in being able to help soils to go on a journey towards health rather than destruction. One of the ways in which they do that is through the disbursement of agricultural subsidies and environmental policies and laws that they all adopt, ensuring that all of those are pointing in a good direction in terms of looking after the health of soils is a critical factor which we can all play a role in by encouraging our elected representatives to do their very best for soil uh, as a route to future human well-being, not simply an environmental issue.